Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. This is Junie's Jun Weekly Plan with me. I'm going to continue the ocean theme for week 24 to 27. And if you haven't watched my Jun Buju setup video, I'll leave the link on the right up corner and down in the description for you to check out. So I chose turtle for the first week, and the next one has to be whales. I mean, who doesn't love whales? Since I had a hard time choosing which kind to draw, I decided to draw a few different types here. The first one is called Killer Whale or Oka, who is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family. That explains why it looks more like a dolphin but not like the whale we usually can think of. As the biggest member among dolphin family, it is one of the world's most powerful predators. While I was doing research, I picked this one immediately when I saw the beautiful black and white pattern on his body. The second one is blue whale, the most commonly seen one in a lot of whale drawings. So skill-wise, this one's supposed to be way bigger considering the orca average length is between 20 to 26 feet and the blue whale is between 80 to 100 feet. But I have to save space here, so let's just call this one a baby blue whale. In fact, it is the largest animal known to have ever existed on the earth. So for the coloring part, in order to draw it quicker, I switch to a bigger brush pen. And then use wet gel pen to add some dot look bumps, which is called tubercles that are used to contain higher follicles. Can you imagine that each of it is the size of a golf ball? Now we come to this really funny looking one, sperm whale. The average length is about 40 feet, but among all the toothed whales, it is the largest. Since sperm whales are usually dark blue, here I can just simply color it all. But instead of using wet gel pen, I decided to leave the white edges around the flipper for this time. The last one is humpback whale. Humpback whales are known for their hunting songs, which are complex sequences of moans, hounds, and cries that often continue for hours, according to National Graphic. They're also famous for breaching the water with amazing acrobatic abilities. So when you see it during ocean trip, it is high chance that that's them. Humblebacks are black on the upper side and mottled black and white on the under, which is ventral side. Ventral plates run from the tip of the lower jaw to the belly, and the color patterns on the dorsal fin is unique to each individual, like human fingerprints. I'm not happy with how I do with the black white edges, so I decided to use white pen to fix it. And before that, let me highlight the white dots of our blue wheel first and also fix the orca's back. By the way, the white pen I'm using here is acrylic, not watercolor. Watercolor white is too transparent for this case. And then I splash some white dots to everyone, giving them an overall texture. To match this mouth style, now I'm adding some geometric elements in. The first is to draw a line crossing the whole spread diagonally and use diamond, circle, dots, arrow for both ends. Then add some circles. It could be solid line, dashed line, or half solid, half dashed line, depends how you balance the overall drawing. Then it's time to add gold color. Just as previous pages, I am continue this wave elements even though they look more like clown, but I like how it turns out. Let's add more gold circles and of course stars. Stars are really useful when you think there is too much white space and you don't know what to deal with it. Now I am writing down week 24 and the calendar. Yep, I missed one day and let me fix it really quick. It just confused me when it's in the middle binding area. Use white gel pen to write down Monday to Sunday and then use O2 liner pen to write down the dates. For highlighting this week, I use gold gel pen to draw a box here. I know the drawing takes a lot of space, but I still manage to distribute enough space for each day's tasks. So here I have 7 days plus 1 note. Here is a cool fact that whales are hunted for their useful products such as meat and blubber, but a lot of countries already stopped doing it and I hope one day this behavior can totally disappear on the earth. Now let's move to the next week. Here what I'm going to draw is a seahorse, as you can see the pencil mark. It is different when you draw it this big with details, but not like a cute doodle size, so I would say this page is the most challenging one for me. Let's start with the head, which is the reason this creature gets its name Seahorse. 
There are about 25 species of them, so this one I'm drawing here may not look like horse that much, but I love how cool fan look structure he has as head. Then for the body, unlike most fish with scales, seahorse has its hard external bony plates that are fused together with a fleshy covering. So overall, it is spiky and rough because of the concentric bony rings that structure the whole body. Now I'm coloring from the shadow side and make a more three-dimensional look. So I'm sure you know that the Mother's Day is the second Sunday in May, but do you know there's also a Father's Day? It is the third Sunday in June, which is the week I'm working on right now. As you may know, male seahorse is equipped with this pouch in the front and gave birth to newborns after carrying them for 9 to 45 days until the baby fully develop. Even though human fathers cannot help with carrying lives, on the special day they still deserve a thank you for their contribution to the family. So get your father a card or give him a big hug, or if you're not with him, maybe a sweet message. Again, I'm adding geometric elements in. I'm placing a big circle behind the seahorse and then add a few smaller ones around, with both solid line and dashed line. Also drawing this line with circle, triangle, rectangle elements just to give a variety and make fun. The next will be gold waves, circles, and stars just like the previous page. Final step, add highlighted calendar down here and dates with Monday to Sunday plus note. Okay, week 25 spreads is down. Even though I'm not really happy with the seahorse I drew, it was a good experience and I just told myself I did it for my dad. Now we're on the page that turns out the best in my opinion. What I choose here is octopus, something that I'll never try if it's not because of the small seam. I actually spent some time on drawing pencil guide and figure out how each tentacle will look like because I'm trying to balance the overall look by not putting too many suction cups at one spot. So as you can see, some tentacles are rotated so only partially showing the cups which won't make it too crowded. As for the center of the page, I'm drawing more because that's where I want your eyes to lay down at the first. Then right next to it, it needs more white space for not taking too much attention, so I make it really simple. Then I give one more tentacle as a break before drawing more section cups. For the last two, I add a little bit more details for balancing the whole drawing, and then add some shadows and thicken the outline to build up more contract. Like always, after finishing the main part of the drawing, I'm adding geometric elements to match the whole theme style, as well as gold waves and shining stars. Since the fifth week in June has only two days, I'm going to combine it with the fourth week in this page, so they're gonna be nine dots plus note. Bully journal for me, besides using it to organize my life better, I also treat it as a challenge every month to try something new. But you can do whatever style you like as long as it works well on you. Before the flip through, I want to give a special thanks to my new Patreon members, Celine and Frankie. I really appreciate your support. By the way, on my Patreon, you can find the digital prints out PDF of the spreads from this video and from my monthly plan with me video. So basically all the spreads along with other bonus content, please do check it out. Or if you want any of my drawings to be decoration in your sweet home, you can find it as prints in my Etsy shop here. I'll leave the links of my Patreon Etsy store as well as supplies I'm using in the description down below if you're interested. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing dream.